One ball, two strikes. Crowd on its feet here at Fenway on an overcast raw day. And Petroselli clubs it. A throw in time. And the Red Sox have drawn first blood in the 1975 World Series. Louis Tion, with the help of a six-run seven, spins a five-hit shutout. It's a dance. You're spinning the music, you know. They come into your house to dance. They better be able to dance to your music or it's all over. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have two new acquisitions that I wanted to share with you. Just came in. Uh, you know who it is already. Two uh, big names from the uh, period of Red Sox baseball in the 1970s. Bill Spaceman Lee and uh, Louis Tiant. Um, the background here you can see a really awesome shot of a fight between the Sox and the Yankees. 1976 and if you look here on the left you can see uh, our man Bill Lee over here and right next to him is Louis Tiant um, right in the middle of things so uh, I think that fight started over uh, it was like Lou Pinella and and uh, Carlton Fisk at home plate so yeah these these are two uh, pitchers that I'm adding to my uh, pitchers collection I'm going for autographed baseballs signed by pitchers from various uh, eras in baseball and these are two that I've uh, been wanting to get for a while. Um, I'd call these two uh, low-hanging fruit, so to speak. Um, you know, these are not two guys that are hard to come by in terms of autographed baseballs, but it's not just about acquiring the baseball. It's, it's about finding the right one, you know, sort of settling on one that you're happy with. And um, these two came up and um, definitely thought it would be fun to get them both at the same time. Was really happy with both of them. and and ended up getting to work out a deal for both of them. So let's take a look at these guys. Um, let's start with Spaceman here. Um, Bill Lee, and you can see, of course, he uh, put his nickname in there in quotations. I definitely knew that I wanted to see his nickname somewhere on the baseball, and I really liked this one because he put the 75 American League champs on there with an exclamation point, because, of course, that's what Bill Lee would do. Um, and you can see this is a, a JSA authenticated ball. It's a it's a recent baseball, not a not a playing days baseball. But um, you know, usually I like to go for playing days. But I really liked this inscription, and I think the baseball in general is in in nice shape. And I liked where he uh, replaced the signature in general, and I like the I like the inscription as I said. So I'm pretty happy with this one. Um, to say that Bill Lee is a character is, uh, is an understatement. Um, so many stories to share about this guy, but I'm just going to share a quote that I came across. Um, uh, most of the managers, he said, were lifetime 220 hitters. And for years, pitchers have been getting these managers out 75% of the time, and that's why they don't like us. Um, <laughs> Bill Lee was uh, a guy that really marched to the beat of his own drum, and uh, you know I think his his efforts in baseball uh, spoke for themselves. And the guy uh, threw all kinds of stuff up at the plate, but uh, you know he found ways to get guys out, and uh, you know definitely a uh, a remarkable pitcher, somebody that is hard to forget. Uh, so next up is uh, Louis Tiant, um, who was obviously a big part of that Red Sox team in the mid 70s. And, uh, you know, this is a, a baseball that I came across. Louis has a very uh, large signature, we'll put it that way. And although he will do inscriptions, um, I wasn't too thrilled with a lot of the, the baseballs that I came across that he signed. Um, but I liked this one. It just felt um, like he wasn't. He wasn't kind of being too uh, fine with his signature. It's, it seems very uh, deliberate and clean. 
um, from start to finish, and I really liked that. It's not exactly on the sweet spot. It's kind of left heavy, but that's okay with me. Um, and again, this is a more, um, this is a JSA ball. You can see this is uh, an American League baseball. Um, I want to say it's from the, maybe the late 80s, early 90s. Um, so again, not a playing days baseball, but that's okay. Um, and of course, one of the things that Tian is most remembered for is his windup. And I found a great quote about, uh, about his windup. Um, Louis said that uh, he didn't do it for show. He did it to get batters out. Uh, players would tell him, we can't tell where the ball is coming from. And I would argue that's the entire uh, reason that he did his windup was just to deceive the player um, and just to use that part of the game to his advantage. So two really fun uh, characters from, from baseball, from Red Sox history that I'm very excited to add to the collection. So we'll go ahead and add these to the archival box. Okay, so these baseballs are gonna take the last two spots in this box. So we'll start with Bill Lee. The space man is gonna go right next to our early win. And then we've got Louis Tiant right next to his teammate. So it is time to get myself a new archival box. All right, thanks so much for checking out the video, guys. Take care, talk to you all soon.